The London 2012 Olympics and Paralympic Games are fast approaching, so it's a good idea for businesses and commuters to get their travel plans in place now. Public transport and the road network will be much busier than usual at certain times and locations. That's why TfL and London 2012 are urging firms to encourage their employees to consider alternative forms of transport. With this in mind, we've set Olympians Chris Boardman and Sally Gummel a little challenge. Who can get to the Olympic Park the quickest? Cycling versus running. Chris has a slight advantage with his will, so he's kindly agreed to stagger his start by a few minutes. Looks like Chris has caught Sally up. Oh no, stuck at the red lights. This could be an opportunity for Sally to take the lead. Sally is back in the game. Yeah, we had uh, we had a great time. It was a, a lovely little run along the canal and through Victoria Park. Um, I was waiting for him to be coming zooming past. I kept looking at every bike I could. Turned the corner, no sight of him. So I actually beat the big man. Yeah, yeah. Sally uh, gave me a good beating there. But on the plus side, I got the bacon sandwich en route. Uh, I think I was the real winner there. We went through some fantastic roads on the route today and once we got through all the traffic, get onto the towpaths and parks, beautiful places. And I think it's a great place to ride a bike, but you've got to remember, pedestrians ride away and it's so easy, we've just got to basically be polite to each other. At games time, it's really important that the businesses think about alternative forms of transport and we know that 86% of them are already making plans to do that. People can get ahead of the games this summer by walking, cycling or running to wherever they need to be so get onto that website getaheadofthegames.com